today we go over some best practices for structuring your Spring Boot code. There's no specific code layout for Spring Boot, but there are some recommended practices that are useful. So one tip for structuring your application code is to put your main application class in the root package. Looking at my example here, the root package is named best practices. And if you look here in the project explorer, we can see that at the very top, we have the best practices application class, and then it has some sibling packages inside of which are classes that are annotated by spring annotations. Now, one thing I wanted to mention is that this spring boot application annotation also includes a component scan annotation. And what this does is that it looks for spring components starting at the root package going downwards. So in this example, it's going to start looking at the very top at the root, and then it's going to start going into the children. So looking at this example here, let's click into this. So this department is a child of the best practices. So it's going to look in here and try and find whether this is a, a spring component. And indeed it is because a REST controller. And if we go in, we see that it's a component. So that's the importance of having this main application class at the very top is because when the components can starts looking for the spring components, it's going to start at the very top at the root and go downwards. Another tip is to avoid putting your spring classes in default packages. If a class does not have a package declaration, then it's considered to be in a default package. For instance, it's no package controller does not have the package declaration. Now, the problem here is that if we had a component scan annotation here in this class, that means it's, the component scan is going to start looking from the very top. When it's looking for spring components, it's going to start here and look through all the packages that you have. That is not going to be efficient. Another issue is that this controller is outside the reach of our application here, because remember this one starts looking at the best practices uh, root going downwards. So that means that this package controller, whatever this endpoint is, is not going to be found. When someone tries to hit this endpoint, they'll get a 404 error because it was not included in the spring application context because it wasn't picked up by the application. 